They're still getting really good farm distribution. Umi is just about 500, 700 gold away from that blank in the pool. Top lane, RP does come out from Boomy. They found Tims and Arno. A sitting duck without his iron. Oh, cool down for Gabby. He wants to commit it immediately. However, it is going to be into another four or five man smoke here from a droid. And are they going for a Roshan play or are they going for a gank? Well, it's out Gabby on the void. They must know Chrono is available, but they'd love to just go for this team fight anyway. In fact, Gabby makes a big Chrono and he does. It's on the storm, but now the crab back on the KP map. He survived through the Chrono. continues his march in the path, gets taken out. They do at least find the troll war, however. Battle trap has popped too early on, and now the relocate teams, they're gonna try and find something more out of it for Matt. He's chipping out CML. Can you get a TP cancellation? No bash is coming out. You're gonna have to be cautious, as Okay, it's coming in both of his way. Gabby, Chrono in a second, he will have enough very soon for that time. A second before he had it, and then the sun come in, CML will take him out in Tins. Oh, the timing from a droid. Just perfect. And now poor KP gets slowed up, gets Vortex up, he has to commit the stampede, but Kirby says no, you're going nowhere. Sit down, young man. Jumped on. Sans is there. Gabby has Chrono. He may have to commit and does. But the more healthy this storm is, John, he won't die. Solite comes up. They heal him up. And now Boomy jumps in. No RP available. They actually do find that. They found Boomy as well. Now they need to go for more. It's not enough. More kills are through the flame wreck box. That was not the one you're looking for. Maybe it was. The lasso. Gabby goes down. They have chased too far. KP will also lose his life. And maybe two kills was enough. Maybe they should just ran away. His march. He knows. He tries, but he is dead. Of course, a buyback, and you'll find that there is one. In fact, Bob, he was good forward and back. He found KP to stand. He wants to move the two head, and now the RP comes in. Fermi found two of them and blows them up. And it looks worse and worse for TNT as time goes on. I can get spot. Take it. Take it and back off because Droid will fight back even if they're behind. Oh, Lasso will be caught there. It is going to be the Grim Stroke and March could not survive. That's the Grim Stroke gone with no buyback. Mac now runs straight up and tips on the Argo who gets the board that's on. Jordan now the RC comes out again. They're melting. They're just gone. Oh no, will also die. No buyback available on the Gyro. Tim's brought back, but who is he got to tether to? That's it, GG's call. They've had enough. Boy, boy, taking it 2-0. Up against TNC. Really clean game number two. They got the Boombacks. Magnus, it wasn't fanned out. There's a reason why in every match... Of I can't believe that worked! You died?
Ready for science! Today, we'll do a little exercise in game sense, particularly the part where we can deduce where our target might want to be at a given time. In Dota, the better player you are, the more moments like these you will be able to notice on your own during a live match. And a good way to train to spot these conditions is to pause any replay that is relevant to you and break down specific scenarios. So let's break down this one. Currently. Our team is leading the network race by a small bit, and the enemy mid and safe lane tower is gone. Naturally, for the Radiant team, any camps close to the river become unsafe. That means that any Radiant core that wants to focus on farming will only be able to do so safely on the creep waves near the tower and the triangle, provided that sufficient vision is available and the top tower remains standing. Now what happens next is that the Juggernaut dies. We can't learn much from this particular kill, because I had arcane rune and this means that I can do a large mana efficient jump and kill Jug before anyone that might be lingering in the triangle or anyone with a teleport can respond. Without arcane, the area is simply too risky to attempt a kill. What I do want to focus on is how can we predict where will the Jug go next. Let's reassess the information we have on the map and include the newly gained intel from the Jug kill. Now, let me emphasize that anything I'm saying here is merely speculation, educated guesses from my current assessment of the match, in this moment. Different players in different MMR ranges might act differently, and as such you might need to adjust your thought process. Anyway, 
In this match, the Jack kill will most likely result in the enemy lingering around the triangle, partly to defend the top tower, partly to repel any repeated attacks if the Jack decides to TP back mid. So, what information do we have? Jack has battle fury, he wants to farm, not fight. The safest place remains the triangle and anything close to the still standing towers, either wave or the jungle creeps. I'm making an educated guess that the Jug is least likely to farm the triangle, because our team is zoning in on the tower pretty fast, and with the rest of the Radiant team converging there, it is likely they are already farming the triangle themselves, leaving Jug only with the other two options. Teleporting mid doesn't look too appealing, because an educated guess from Jack's perspective would tell him that Storm is most likely close to his team in case the fight breaks down top. So, Jack will want to avoid the scenario which has already happened. This leaves the bot lane and the question is lane or jungle? Lane creeps are pretty far, so Jack can grab a camp first until he spots Storm on the map to decide whether to farm the lane or not. Let's see if our assessment is correct. No whining now. And there we go. By breaking down the map's info in real time, we have successfully predicted where our target will go next. As I said before, this might not always be the case, but the good thing is that we often don't risk anything if the play doesn't pan out. If the target doesn't show where you think he would, or if he has too many options to choose from, making a prediction hard, feel free to select another objective to work on. This concludes today's topic. Good luck! А мать, блядь, вчера у тебя от спида сдохла, нахуй, вместе с твоей мать сон, блядь, который после алкашки, нахуй, пошел, блядь, к матери потрахаться, причем, блядь, она уже дохлая, блядь, валяется, сука. Устали. С Пасхой тебя, уёбок! Уйдём, 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 уйдём. Уёбки! И мне кажется, или у него... Я ему тп... Radiant's middle tower is under attack. The Radiant Glyph is now active. Radiant should look to their middle tower. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Ебать! На бойте волшебство. 